watching KBOI 2 News this morning. It's 613. Investigators now say they know why. A plane crashed in Columbia. It ran out of fuel. The pilot radioed controllers saying he was running dry and needed to make an emergency landing. That plane, though, went down short of an airport, killing more than 70 people on board. Many of them were members of a Brazilian soccer team headed to a tournament. Only six people survived. Nine players didn't travel to that tournament that killed most of their teammates. They, along with a soccer nation, are now mourning the loss of those beloved players. It is very difficult thinking that I might have been there, he says. For forward Alejandro Martinucio, the plane crash that killed most of his team is harder to bear. The player would have been on that plane had it not been for a knee injury he suffered a month and a half ago. The fact that I wasn't there, it is very difficult. It is too much for my head, he says. Three players on the plane survived the crash Monday night. Alan Ruskell, Elio Neto, and goalie Jackson Fullman, whose right leg had to be amputated. Ruskell is in critical condition, doctors unsure if he'll walk again. The Chapes, as they were affectionately called, played in obscurity for decades. In 2014, they were promoted to Brazil's top soccer division. There were no big stars, but with each match, the underdogs following grew. Last week, the Chapes celebrated their unlikely birth in the finals of the second most important club tournament on the continent. Now the team unsure of what their future on the field holds. Brazil's other top soccer teams have offered two loan players to them for next season, but they've also asked the Brazilian Football Confederation to give them a three-year exemption from regulation.